Hey, it's FM 94.9 Hillary out here, and I've been joined by Of Monsters and Men. Welcome. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you for coming by today and in, for enjoying our coffee. What, so you guys, what were you just saying about the coffee that you're drinking? <laughs> uh, just how much better it does. It, it is from the one we had on the bus. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Brynjar made some coffee on the bus, and he was just like, yeah, putting all the coffee in there, and like, it was pretty strong. A little <laughs> too strong. It was, yeah, horrible. That's funny. Are you guys here like just for Coachella, or are you touring around right now in the states? What are you doing? We are. Um, well, we just did a show at in Reno yesterday, and yeah, now we're here in Coachella. We're going to Hawaii, and then back. Coachella. Yeah, we're just kind of going we're all around. Yeah, yeah, we're going to also, also like Mexico and Australia oh and nice. uh, the Philippines. Oh wow! Okay. And then we're gonna end it with a vacation in. Maybe Japan, like some of us. Oh yeah, <laughs> that'd be cool. You guys, and you played Austin City Limits this summer, is that right? Mm -hmm. A few months ago, I saw you there. It was my first time seeing you live, and you were so good live. Oh, thank so you. fun. Oh, thank you. We were, our whole group was just blown away. We were, we loved seeing you guys live. Oh, it's cool. Thanks. Um, so I, I want to back up though a little bit. Um, I read that you guys kind of got your start by you won a battle of the bands in Iceland and then pretty soon thereafter um, you like you released little talks and it became huge like in a short time period is that right uh, yeah it was uh, yeah kind of twist on uh, battle of the bands that we won and it was only like the four of us and we were like oh, we should yeah let's try to Enter this competition, won it by accident, <laughs> and uh, then we got like to play uh, like one of the biggest music festivals in Iceland. Oh, and we kind of got uh, played there. Like through that, we got into KXP and kind of just escalated quickly. Yeah, <laughs> KXP yeah. here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so when I think of like kids wanting to start a, a band. Like, I feel like that's the way they imagine it. Like, yeah, we'll, we'll like start a band and then we're going to get on the radio and then we're going to like have, you know what I mean? Like, that's the way people dream about it happening. It's yeah. kind of how it happened for you guys. Well, I mean, you know, uh, we were playing before, it, like when we did that uh, Battle of the Bands thing, it was our first official show. Oh, you're as kidding. The, as, as, the, as this band, you know, uh -huh. but before like Brini and I had been playing together for years and, oh and doing a lot of small clubs and, and, um, and yeah, so yeah. So maybe <laughs> it wasn't an overnight success, like no. it kind of no. seems like. Gotcha. Not, not really, but you know, but it's been really cool. You guys played Coachella in 2013? Yes. Yeah. And then right after that, started working on your new record, but you took a while with it, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, kind of. But yeah. uh, Were you like touring or did you want, or was it more in the studio, taking your time with it? like? Well, we were like after we released our first album, we you know yeah we toured for like uh, one and a half year, uh, yeah. pretty much of non-stop touring, and then after that we you know we were pretty pretty tired, sure. <laughs> so we took a little vacation like two months or something, and then we started working on the new album. So yeah, it, that was kind of what we did. Yeah. All right, you mentioned. Um, at, at playing a big festival in Iceland. So yeah, like what what would you say is the Coachella equivalent in Iceland? Um, I think now it's probably a festival called Secret Solstice. It's, uh, yeah, it's in the middle of summer in Iceland and uh, it's in the like city center kind of, like mm. close to the city center. Yeah. And it's an outdoor festival and it's really great. So like now this year we were playing there and uh, Radiohead oh, and awesome. Deftones, Die Antwoord oh. and just tons and of great bands. It's really cool because it's like, yeah, right at the summer like uh, solstice. So like the sun doesn't set all night. So it's, oh it's a pretty gosh. kind of, um, it's a weird experience, I think, for people that come to Iceland to see the music festival. That's so cool. It definitely seems like more and more people are discovering Iceland, at least from the States and like traveling there now. Yeah. Um, and Steve, who's in the studio for us, was saying 
tell them that the population of Iceland, it's like smaller than the population of San Diego County by, by quite a bit. But do, so do you notice like more tourism or more people or are you just not even home enough to notice? <laughs> uh, I noticed like on our breaks, like sometimes I have to go downtown to like buy stuff and <laughs> I I hardly meet any Icelanders. It's really weird. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a big like just explosion of like, you know, the tourism in Iceland has just like exploded. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty interesting to see you go out on tour and you come back one and a half year later or something and it's like, oh, <laughs> where is everybody? Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, we're here with the Monsters and Men. I just have one more question for you. Is there, um, if I was going to go to Iceland, what should I eat? What do I need to eat if I'm visiting Iceland? Well, uh, we have a lot of really good restaurants. Yeah. And I would say like... Uh, so like a particular dish I should try or something that yeah. like I shouldn't miss? Well, there's just one thing, like, it, this, this is going to sound really stupid, but it's like a thing that we are very proud of, and that's the hot dog stand yeah, yeah, downtown. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, 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 I mean, it doesn't sound very impressive, but it's a really good hot dog, and people line up there, like, it's like a crazy line every yeah, yeah, single day. Like, like I said earlier about, like, going downtown and I have to buy stuff, I'm sometimes like, oh, I think I'll get a hot dog, and, like, when I'm in line, like, tourists just queue up and they're like yes everybody's talking about this hot dog stand. and you're <laughs> like that is so funny what? we have a few taco shops like that in san diego yeah. where yeah. there's just always a line yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so funny well thank you guys so much for stopping by have a great time here at coachella so this is your second coachella then yeah. right yeah monsters and men thank you thank Good you luck to you guys thank you from 94.9